Hey guys, Kason here. Today I want to show you a calendar I recently set up on my Mac and iPhone to help me visualize my income and expenses. Plus, as a bonus, how to set up this nice printout calendar to see all that information without having to look on your computer or phone. Let's go. First off, I want to say this is a Mac tutorial specifically, but if you use Google or Microsoft Gear, you may be able to follow these steps to achieve something pretty similar. We're going to start by opening up the calendar app. You can turn off all your current calendars just to get a clear slate. Next, we're going to set up two new calendars, one for incoming money and one for outgoing money. Make sure that these calendars add to your iCloud account if you use iCloud to sync between your phone and iPad and Mac. If you prefer, you can set up one single calendar with all this information, but the fun part about setting up two is having the ability to set the colors of each calendar so you can easily tell your incoming and outgoing cash. Once you have those set up, the easiest part is entering your paydays. Find your next payday on the calendar, and we can right click and new event. You can also just double click on a day to create event as well. We're gonna name this new event payday, and this is important, set the calendar to incoming money. Now if your pay is always the same amount, you can enter that amount here, but I like to enter that after the fact since I get paid hourly. Then set the time to all day, Set the repeat to every week if you get paid weekly, or if you're like me and get paid every two weeks, you can choose custom. And then from this menu, choose weekly as the frequency and set it to every two weeks. Then choose what day of the week you get paid. Now we have our payday set up and you can add any other consistent incoming money the same way. Next up, you guessed it, we're gonna enter our bills and expenses. Just like our payday, we're gonna start by setting up a new event on our first bill, the day that it's due. Enter the name of the bill and the amount. Don't forget to change the calendar to your outgoing money. Next, set the time to all day and set the repeat to every week, every month, or every year, depending on the frequency of this bill. Repeat this process for all your expenses and you can even add automatic savings account deposits so you can see them coming too. And there you go, you've got a nice, easy to read calendar which syncs with your phone if you do use iCloud but it's really easy to see just everything that's coming in and going out. Now for the fun bonus tip. If you're on a Mac, you can print out this awesome monthly calendar with all the information you added, so you can see it on your desk without having to open up an app and look for it. So to do this, we're gonna go up to the top of your screen on your Mac, click File, then Print, or use the Command P shortcut on your keyboard. Here you'll see a lot of options. You can choose to print a daily, weekly, monthly, or even list view. I'm going to choose monthly since I feel it's the best for seeing your whole month in a concise way. Then you can choose what time period to print. It's automatically set to this month, but you can choose to print another month, and you can even print multiple months at once. You can then choose the calendars to add. Be sure that incoming and outgoing are checked, and then you can add your personal calendars if you'd like. You can play around at the other settings if you want, but I mostly keep them the same. I do change the text size to big since it makes the events easier to read, but that's totally up to you. Then just click continue, choose your printer, and click print. And just like that, you have this beautiful printout of all your incoming and outgoing money for the month. As you can see, my printer had a little bit of an accident on this one, but that's okay. I hope this little tip helps you feel more organized and prepared for your incoming bills and expenses each month. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.